the Harbor Freight 13 watt briefcase solar charger. How well does it work? Let's find out in this video. So this is our Thunderbolt Solar, but you can get it at Harbor Freight. It's their 13 watt briefcase solar charger kit. Comes with everything that's shown on the box there. The only thing that I'm really using are, the, are these cables here for attaching to my battery. Now today is not the sunniest of days, um, but it is showing anyways because it's blinking blue that it is taking in some power we'll see how much i also did buy this solar regulator with it also from harbor freight same brand so i'm going to test the battery leads here i've been using this battery with my cpap machine now for two nights if you guys remember the old video that i that i made when i was uh, making this specifically for camping in this sort of an element. So if you all remember, this is my setup with my inverter where you have no electricity, no power sort of a deal. I needed my CPAP machine. And so I knew that I got will get three nights out of it, but I want to see if I can charge the battery even in low light. So this is basically what I'm dealing with. It's overcast today. It's rained for the last two days. And uh, there's some pretty moderate tree cover up above us as you can see there's kind of a wide opening here but we'll see what we can get how many volts all right so the battery right now is registering at 12.38 volts and that's after two nights of using it it was at about 12.78 two eight hour nights of sleeping noah my wonderful hand model there and we're so we're gonna plug it in that's what's nice about this solar kit here is briefcase solar kit. All right, kiddo, you're good to let go. Thanks, dude. The good thing about this is that it is completely, I'm gonna have you hold these, kiddo, these two leads here, we'll see what's coming in. It's basically just plug and play, and I'll show you that in just a second. No, it's not gonna shock you. Okay, don't don't push them together. So what I'm gonna do now is just put them over, over here so everyone can see them. Whoops. Ouch. That didn't hurt you. No, it just like... Poked. See, we got for power coming in. So it's showing 14.3, 14 14.39 volts that are coming in. So we'll see how, we'll see if it charges the battery. So again, this is basically the setup. Everything is clamped on where it's going. My charge controller here is showing, is lighting up that it's charging. Hello. And it's over 14 volts. I don't know what that breaks down to amp wise. If somebody knows what 14.3839 volts works out to, or maybe I'll try to research it and put it in the video. But anyways, I don't know how many amps are coming in. Hopefully that's at least one amp. But we'll see how well it charges up the battery. I paid from Harbor Freight, I paid $75 for this. It was on sale. And the charge controller was 25 I think. Yeah, it was 25 bucks. So I have $100 into this whole thing. And if I can charge up my battery, even on a cloudy day like it is today, that would be pretty awesome. So we'll see. So two hours right now is the best sunlight we've had all day. Two hours, again, with this Harbor Freight Thunderbolt panel. And we are up to 12.3 or 12.43 volts in the batteries. So it charged it. And that was an almost complete and utter failure of sun. I mean, we had no sun for a long time. This is the most sun that we've had all day. And it's two hours with these solar panels going, complete clouds. All right, so overall, I would say that this Thunderbolt Magnum Solar 13 watt briefcase solar charger, which is a mouthful, is also a huge success. This came from Harbor Freight. I paid about 75 bucks for it, and then I also bought the small, um, non-digital, it's just a light, basically, that, that comes on um, 
charge controller. There they call it a charge regulator. So this this unit, I would call it a, a huge success. Yesterday was a full, full out cloud day, and I only ran it for about two hours, hooked up to my deep cycle battery, and it charged it. Um, you know, just a, a few points of amp, or a few points of volts up. I think we went from 12.38 to like 12.44, something like that. But either way, that's pretty cool. Not even direct sun, and this thing is 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 working. So I would call it a huge success. I had enough battery power this morning to charge the battery for this camera because it died halfway through filming this last uh, yesterday, yesterday evening when the sun finally did come out but then it was down below the trees. But either way, huge success, totally worth the money in my opinion. If you've got more questions about how it all worked, uh, go ahead and put that in the comment section down below. Until next time, thanks for tuning in to Our Scamp Life. Hit that subscribe button and God bless.